Hello and welcome. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to show you how to access your courses and how the Wealth Creators Academy portal works. So you bought the courses, now what? You will receive an email within 24 hours that looks something like this. The email basically, the top part just tells you about the payment details. This part over here just tells you where exactly the courses that you bought fits into the Wealth Creators University. You will get a code. This is very important for later. It will give you brief instructions on how to log in. It will give you system requirements needed for the courses that you bought and just a brief overview of what's included in the courses that you bought. So if you scroll back up, you will find under the how to log in, you will find a link. Just click on the link. You will be redirected to this page. So just fill in your details. Please make sure your email address is correct and then it will ask for a code. So to get the code, it's in the email that you got. Just go back to your email and copy the code provided. Make sure you don't copy any spaces and only the code. Copy the code in. As I just said just now, please make sure there are no spaces. If there are any spaces, this won't work. After you've done that, you just click on register. It will tell you you have been successfully registered to the team, whatever it is you bought, and please go check your email for additional information. So now we go back to our email and hit refresh. And you will receive an email looking like this. Every now and then it takes some time, so do, please don't be concerned. If you haven't received this email within 24 hours, it might be that your email that you have given is incorrect, or please just contact the office. Next thing you do is you follow this link over here. This is the last page you need to complete in order to gain access to the Wealth Creators Academy portal. So all you really need to fill in here is the password. Your password must be at least eight characters long. It must consist of one uppercase, one lowercase, one special character, as well as a number. Please make sure you save your password on your computer somewhere where you will find it again. Then you can just scroll down. You can fill in all these fields if you like. If you're happy with it like that, you can say, I agree to the terms and conditions. Please go ahead and read the terms and conditions and press continue. And there you have it. It's as simple as that.